gates of hell, but I won't back down. Stand my ground and I won't back down. I won't back down by the late great Tom Petty, another legend gone too soon. Um, we have four simple chords in this song. We have an E minor chord. Played uh, with the first two fingers only. You could play it with your middle two fingers in kind of the classic rock hand away. Yeah. Entirely up to you. Because we then go to a D major chord. Played like this, but we don't really play that thinnest strings. Because we're going to be palm muting in a second. But the chord is a D major. And then we go to a G major chord, which I would be playing with the third and fourth uh, finger down. And we're on the E minor for two beats, the D for two beats, and then the G for a whole bar, so that's four beats. So as a warm-up, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, no, I won't back down, no, I won't back down. We do have, you can stand me up at the gates, that's a C major, Gates of hell, but I won't back down. Okay, so just on that fourth line, on the gates of that's a C major to a G, and I won't back down. How we want to play this is with eightfold down strumming and just playing the thickest couple of strings. So just playing the thickest two or three strings out of each chord. So when we go to the D, remember the root notes on the D string, have to drop down a little bit for that. But playing eight times per bar, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. For more help with this palm muted sound, check out this video just here. That will really help you get this chug sound where we lay the outside of the palm of the hand just here, just inside of the bridge. Won't back down. That's the idea, as the simplest way. And we can do some open ones as well. One and two and three and four and one. That's more for the intermediate players. I should mention before we do the chorus too much that you could play these um, open chords in the verse with power chords to emulate more the electric guitar in the song. The electric guitarists among you will want to have a go at those. This is uh, the E minor or the E5 power chord is just at seventh fret and string five. Third finger just making it a power chord. D's at five and seven. And then three and five. Choice be yours, which one you use. That are both happening in the song. As far as I can tell. Um, for the chorus then, open C major to a G major. Two option with, with the G major, we can go for this way of playing a G, the standard one all fingers, or the finger style one, which should be easy. To change from the C to the G. And I know this change is very tough for some of you. So use whichever is works for you. And then we need that D major. And the sequence is just four chords. C, G, D. Back to C. C, G, D, back to G, and that repeats. Hey, baby, there ain't no easy way out. I won't back down. I will stand my ground. 
Mm. Okay. Tricky strumming with this one. The trick is to just keep your right hand strumming um, in a down and up fashion in one and two and three and four and um, the rhythm's going here. We can miss some strums out as well to make it more natural, but for if I was teaching you guys one to one, you were sat in front of me right now, I would be getting you to go one and two and three and four and all the time with the right hand changing chord at the correct time so that you get the the rhythm and the the change first and then we'd look at something else with the strumming to try and get it closer to the record so that that crucial step is like this one and two and three One and two and three and four and, okay? And on that and four and, that's where we always change the G. It's a C chord. In fact, if you're really struggling with this, just do a bar of C to a D and it'll sound like it. Hey, baby, there ain't no easy way out. Okay? That's the easiest, easy way. Um, proper way. One and two and three, G, 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 D. One and two and three up down up two and three up down up. Up to you which G you use, whichever one you're more comfortable with. Okay, and then we're back to E minor D and G. D and G. Okay, so let's have a little playthrough now from the top and I will cover any little extra bits when we get to them. From the E minor, in one, two, three, four. D and G. E minor, D and G. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. Same thing, but with a C. Stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. No, I'll stand my ground. Won't be turned around. And I'll keep this world from dragging me down And I'll stand my ground Chorus coming up and I won't back down Stand my ground and I won't back down. Okie dokie, cooler bits and embellishments. There's a little cool run up to the chorus, which is like this and I won't back down. And hey, um, uh, so there's two things happening there this little run up. I won't back. Not essential at all. I just, I would add that if I was covering this song. First three notes on the G major scale. Which you can learn for free at andyguitar.co.uk. Open, uh, third fret on the thickest E string. Open A, second fret on the A. And then we need to hit the C if you're a bit more advanced, if you're improving intermediate level. On an up strum because it's a, it's an early early first beat. It's on the off beat of four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one. Again, the important thing isn't which up downs and up strums you do. That just wants to keep going one and two and three and four. The important thing is when you hit and when you change chord. And then when you play it a little bit louder, when you emphasize it. Two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. There ain't no easy way out. Hey, yeah. 
Okay, um, that is the the final level of this where we again have built it up from the back. Um, that is that is that final thing that beginners just find so hard. Doing it on the beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And four. I'm sure everyone watching this video can do that with some practice. But getting the up. One and one and two and three and four and one and two and takes feel and the best place to learn songs that kind of do that is and this song is at level six the songs at level six of, of my beginners course all the songs there we must have about 30 or 40 of them now just with these four chords uh, E minor C D G um, maybe the odd kind of E minor seven in there but that's that's the um, that's the gist of this song let me know if you want me to do any tribute let me know if you want to do any other Tom Petty tribute lessons in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another lesson.